Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson, I am going to show you how you can get information from a piece of paper onto Excel. For this exercise, we have a list of names and we are going to formulate into a spreadsheet. So once the intermission's finished, we're going to get straight into it. So I'll see you on the other side. The first step you need to do is to scan your documents and save them as PDF files. Once you finish scanning your PDF files, I will need you to open up a new sheet in Excel. Now, go into data, data from picture, picture from file, and navigate to your PDF file. For the instance of this tutorial, I only have one file, so I'm just gonna click on this and go to open. Once you're in open, Excel would analyze your PDF files to extract the text out of it. Once completed, this dialog will come out and I want you to go to insert data, insert anyway. Excel has now pasted all that information into a single cell. Obviously this is not what we want, so we need to separate each of these names into their individual cells. And the way that we do that is that we select it and go into text to column. This box will come up. I want you to go next, next, finished. Now that all the names are in the individual cells, if I just double click this, you can see better. So all the names are in their individual cells, but we are not quite there done yet. We need to put them into columns now, so it's a lot easier to manage. So the way that we do that, we simply just grab the first name and we're going to copy the entire list to the end. Right click copy, I'm going to go back to the beginning, go to a clean cell, right click paste special transpose. Now we have them into columns. What I like to do now is I actually want to copy this new column that I made and move this towards a new sheet. So copy, new sheet. Now that we've pasted our list onto B2, let me explain what we have going on here. We have, for the first person, we have Gabriella Reeves in two separate cells. So we have a first name and a surname, a first name and a surname. What we want to do is be able to get all the first names together without alternating and clicking like this because this list could potentially be infinite there could be thousands of names and you wouldn't want to be doing that the long way so let's work out an easier way to do this and the best way that i found out to do this is to separate by creating a filter now look at what we got here we have all the first names gabriella ansley Canon, Haley, all these names arrive on an even cell. So as you can see, two, four, six, and eight. And vice versa, we have surnames arriving on odd cells, like Reeves is on three, Ward is on five, Peterson on seven, etc. Excel can't recognize first or surnames. It does know whether or not the cell lives on a odd or even cell. And we're going to use that fact to our advantage. So what I want you to do on this cell C1, just type in even. On the cell below, I want you to input this formula. Is even, open parentheses, row, open, close, close, and press enter. If done correctly, you would see a true statement, which signifies that we are on an even cell. Now I need you to drag this formula all the way down to the bottom of the list. And it should alternate true, false, true, false. Now to create the filter, we're gonna click on this cell C1 and go to the filter button. And what that does is it creates these two toggles. We're just gonna click on the one on even and I just want to display the even statements or the even cells to display the first names. So we'll deselect false. I'm going to move this out the way. 
And now we see Gabrielle, Ansley, Cannon, Haley, all the first names. So now it's easy to be able to grab these names. I'm going to right click copy and I'm going to come down below and paste. Oh, I'll go a little bit further. I'll go down here and paste it somewhere clean. Make sure you don't paste it along this side because you're going to muddle yourself up because it's not displaying all the cells and you're only going to see half of them. So make sure you're well and truly below the scene because you've filtered the first um, 76 cells. To show the surnames, you just simply change the selection from true to false. Now we have the surnames, we can go from the top to the bottom, right click copy, paste it next to the first names, paste. Now we have the first names and the surnames next to one another. Let's double check with the original document and see if the names marry up. So we have Gabriella Reeves, Ansley Ward, let's look down the bottom, Lindsay Zavala, Alyssa Chambers, it looks really good. Let's take Reed Dixon, Reed Dixon. So we can tell that the text has come across properly and everything is aligned. And if we want to create the full names, we can simply use one of my favorite features called Flash Fill. And if you don't know how to do that, I can show you in another video um, that is available. So I just input one and I go to Flash Fill or Control E, and then that will finish off that list. So we have full names on this column, surnames here, and first name here. As you can see, we have completed the task. This now brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Please make sure you follow, like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again next time.